What's up guys? Happy Friday. Brian Band is here with The Married Man. I'm going to tell you a quick story. All right. This is a very personal story. Several years back, I'm sitting in the parking lot at Publix. It's Christmas time. I'm listening to Christmas carols and this commercial comes on and it's for Angel Tree. And those of you, you're probably familiar with it, but basically this organization gathers toys and gives them to children, families who have need, who may not have a Christmas otherwise. And I'm listening to this, I'm sitting in the parking lot of the grocery store, and boom, like, like a flashback, all of a sudden, I remembered. I was an Angel Tree kid. After my parents got a divorce, uh, my siblings and I lived in, with my mom for a period of time in this place called the Texas Baptist Children's Home. And at least on the, on the weekends or the times we were with her, we were living at this uh, nonprofit Baptist home for mothers who, you know, I guess needed to get their feet underneath them. And the reality is, like no gray area, this was a direct result of the decisions that my, that my parents made uh, not to work on their marriage, but instead to call it quits. Um, and that's one example of many that drives me now that like we talked about in the newsletter on Monday, it, it's one example of many that give me a picture of what's possible if I don't win this fight. And what I find is when I think about my three sons, I'm like, oh, hell no. We're not doing that. They're not going to be living at the Texas Baptist Children's Home. That's not going down in my family. And I find that those painful negative thoughts and memories can actually be, to a healthy degree, they could be a driver where I have a vision of if I don't win this fight, here's what, here's what it's going to look like. Here's what's going to happen. I'm estranged from in-laws who I love. I'm splitting time with my kids, arguing with the woman I love about um, when I get to see them. Um, all of these painful things. Uh, I also know firsthand what that can do, what that experience can do to an adult man or woman's confidence and pride and charisma and watch my dad struggle through that. And so having an understanding and a little bit of a vision, I don't want to dwell on the negative, but I do have a vision of what it looks like for me to lose this battle. And it's very motivating. I am not okay with that possibility. So I encourage you guys to engage that part of your imagination because when you engage those emotions, it drives your behavior and go, man, if I don't win this, if I don't push through the challenging moments and win this battle, what happens? What is the reality of that experience? It's not good. The grass is not greener. So that's my encouragement to you. I wanted to share that story and let you know that that's, that's one of the places that I'm coming from is that I've seen how good it can be and I've seen how bad it can be. Both of them point me in one direction and that's a victory. See you guys.